It's been a long time, y'all. <laughs> I gotta come on here and I gotta tell y'all some shit. Something that I saw, and this is like my honest ops. This is some stuff that I've watched very briefly on someone's live. Y'all need to be mindful not to mess y'all energy with people. I'm not gonna name no names, child, but on my other page, I saw, you know, one of these like marketeers in the spiritual community. And I used to buy products from them, but then I kind of had like a weird little energy from them, right? So I stopped buying their stuff because I was like, I don't like fucking with people that's like all about the money type shit. And so, um, so I stopped buying. I had bought, uh, I remember bought like a candle because of the significance of the name of the candle, a cultural significance. I'll just leave it at that. And, um, I remember when they was beefing with somebody, I was getting the other side of the story, just looking at stuff, whatever, looking at comments. So I noticed they were starting to watch my stories and stuff. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck are you watching my stories for? Like, just a little weird little shit, right? So I stopped fuck with them, right? And I knew that their business was low key kind of struggling because I was like, it must be a slow day at the motherfucking office if you sending me a text. I don't unsubscribe from the text alert. I don't unsubscribe from the email alerts and all this kind of stuff, right? So I don't even understand why I'm still getting emails from you, nigga. But anyhow, child. So anyhow, right? So all of a sudden, this comes up on my uh, algorithm on one of my pages. I have a Cassie uh, birth and death doula page. Okay, that's one of my pages, right? I got like four pages. My botanical page, my tarot business page, my personal page, the pineapple one, and then La Virgo Mafia. Oh, and then the book. Okay. okay, I got five. So anyway, so I see clear as day this person got a live video talking about doing a group hex ritual, right? So I'm just sticking around. So something told me, Spirit told me to click on the video, right? Spirit said, click on the video. I know you don't fuck with the motherfucker like that, but click on the video and see, see what is going on, right? So I click on the video, right? And as soon as I get to the video, the person is like, well, you know, I'm not worried about what's unjustified. That's on y'all and this, this and that. And she, this is the thing I don't care for. Especially the people in the spiritual community who's all about getting money, okay? They don't really have a background in this type of thing. They just hopped on the spirituality wagon, okay? A lot of these people started hopping on spirituality bandwagon once, they, once it got popular. And then they decided to market themselves and blah, 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 blah. And they use whatever pool that they already had previously uh, to create a whole new spiritual persona and to make money off of it. You feel me? You feel me? So, hey, this is the go-go uh, version of uh, Tim's Free Mind. Listen to this right quick. Hold on. This shit is, this shit is cool. this is the thing here it's very irresponsible like if i was y'all if you were smart a lot of people that hop on this type of shit with this lady to do some group hex ritual the people that hop on this type of shit are usually karmic females all right uh, let me say karmic fams excuse me okay i like to use the word female too much but these are karmic fams okay be mindful when you're doing group rituals because it depends on everybody's energy within the group now if you're cool with a certain group of people their energy is right, your energy is right, you know what I'm saying? Then you guys can, you can trust them enough to mesh your energy with them because obviously there's strength in numbers. And that's the reason why they're doing this ritual. I feel like this lady doing this ritual because 
she wants to get at somebody but she needs other people to push the energy for her she needs other people to join in on this uh group hexing ritual uh to push her own magic when she could just honestly if she wanted to get at somebody on some magical fisticuffs type shit she could just do it her, herself but she wants your energy i need your energy right so she needs your energy so that's why she wants you to join on this group hex ritual if you join in that shit you stupid i'm gonna just tell you that right the fuck me out you stupid as fuck because like i said you need to be careful about doing group rituals with motherfuckers you don't know them you don't know what type of energy that they really have do you really want to enmesh yourself with them and what if the what if the people that they're attacking are innocent fucking people what if the person that they're hexing is an innocent fucking person what if the person that is conducting the hex group ritual is fucking with somebody that didn't even do shit to them and you're gonna enmesh your energy and put your name in that shit what makes you think that shit ain't gonna turn around on you now when that word, word get thrown back or the person that y'all attacking unjustified because she said in her video oh if it's not justified it don't matter this this and that that's on y'all and all this stuff so she basically tell y'all if you get fucked up as a result of participating in my ritual that's on you so she wants you to help her out by adding your energy in her group in her hex ritual so that whatever the person that she hexing throws it back at her that y'all gonna get it too because you're gonna share in her karma too i hope you know that all right you're gonna share in her karma as well so make sure you know who you're doing it first of all <clears throat> if you're gonna do that type of spell work you should be doing it by yourself or doing it with a trusted spiritualist godfather padrino madrina you know what i'm saying doing it with who like somebody that you trust a spiritualist that you fucking trust and you want to make sure that you do a spiritual reading before you even do any type of work to make sure if it is justified if you really are if your aim is correct because there you can get spiritual confirmation right through dreams through divination through symbols uh synchronicities whatever but you want to go over it with your spiritualist first or if you if you're your own spiritualist sometimes you may need a second opinion or you just need more confirmation ask your guides to give you more confirmation to let you know if your aim is correct if you aim it if you're targeting the right person i don't like to be on a live video so i only stayed on on the live for like less than five minutes because <clears throat> the energy was bad the energy was full of karmic fems who are baby witches who have uh these are karmic bitches karmic bitches uh who have spiritual businesses or they're just uh like heavy into the consumerism of spirituality and these are misguided distorted fems and karmic fems who are listening to this lady if you join her fucking group ritual you don't know what type of shit you don't know what type of person she really is off camera offline um and the other people that are participating in the ritual you don't know if this person is going around hurting people why would you want to attach your energetic signature to something like that that's just fucking dumb and then if the, if the if the shit fucking backfires she's only using you guys as a fucking buffer she needs you guys to help push her her hex spell and she uses y'all as a buffer so when the hex backfires or any kind of way or this person that she attacking ends up uh defending themselves now you guys are going to catch the residuals oh and guess what when it does fucking backfire guess what oh i'm selling some candles for that i got some candles i'll help you to alleviate that yeah sixty dollars seventy dollars i got a seventy dollar candle to uh to help alleviate that yeah because you fucked up because that's what's going to end up happening you fucked up that's not, that's what i'm already seeing right now you fucked up so be careful with these motherfucking bitches y'all because they just want to fucking make money off of people and they like to make money off of karmic feminines these distorted feminines these bitches that want to be down so fucking bad and they they look at the glitz and the glamour and they don't really look at people for their energy like they don't look at people for who they truly are they just see followers likes they see birkin bags them ugly ass motherfucking bags they see the glitz and the glamour and all that stuff they don't understand that that's not a part of spirituality all right so you need to really be careful especially if you have a high spiritual rank if you have a high spiritual rank even if you are a baby witch baby magician if you're very new to spirituality you may not realize that you have a very high spiritual rank and there are people that uh these marketeers that will try to use your rank against you they will try to eat off of your spiritual rank and exploit the fact that you need their help or their guidance and all that shit and so that's what i feel what what be happening they they, they, they use you okay this is a spiritualist this is like readers if you're going to like readers people who do divination and stuff like that they could see what you're working with spiritually and they'll try to use that against you or exploit it and so like group hex rituals to me i wouldn't participate in that that sounds like some baby witch shit to me 
that sounds like somebody that's not well versed in spirituality like that and they just want to be down they just want to be clickish there's no way i'm going to join a a, a a a mass hex ritual i'm not doing it because you don't know if the person if the people that are involved in this ritual is doing justified work this is 2024 so 2024 has been 2024 in case y'all ain't noticed and a lot of people are wreaking their karma and because they're getting their karma they're upset that they're getting their karma so now they want to hex people that they have they want to hex people that are getting spiritually uh elevated now they're paying well let's put it this way all right <clears throat> 2024 the year of karma exposure if you notice people that are, are going through shit, that's what the fuck they get stay stay far the fuck away from them and let them go let them go through their own shit. let them, let them process their own shit. i'm telling you from fucking experience don't get in the way nobody's fucking karma they're gonna make you a fucking scapegoat they're gonna make you a fucking whipping whipping post they're gonna act like you didn't do shit for them all kind of fucking bullshit, right so don't even fucking do it so as these people are going through that shit, trust me they're gonna be dragging kicking and screaming because they're gonna have to pay and atone for everything that they've done if they have done things irresponsible especially if you're a spiritual business and you have done things irresponsibly you will have to pay for it so here's what i think it is that person did a lot of irresponsible things and is getting a lot of a lot of pushback with it. they suffered with their business because i could feel it when they were sending me emails and text alerts after i unsubscribed okay i already felt it i said oh that must be slow day in the office okay but i'm not buying nothing from you again mommy okay i'm not buying nothing from you um <clears throat> so they going through shit and whoever that they was attacking and whoever that they got away with attacking everybody and they weaponized their social their social clout they weaponized their their following against people that spoke out against them mm -hmm, i went there now they get in they get, they get back and they don't know how to take it so what they want to do they want hex you might want to be careful wanting to enmesh your energy your energetic signature with a group hex ritual ritual and that shit gonna backfire bad now there may be some people that really do uh felt like they need to do that shit whatever right but be mindful if you feel like you need to do that shit and you got proof you got confirmation and da -da -da -da, okay cool however however you need to be mindful of who the fuck you doing this, this shit with who's conducting this shit you don't know if they justified and guess what this is 2024 if you do some shit to people that where it's unjustified you do spiritual work against somebody to harm somebody and they don't do nothing to you you're gonna pay for it you're gonna pay for it and like I said, when you do a group ritual, it maximizes the energy. So just imagine how much it will backfire. It will maximize the backfire. It's going to be a huge blow. So she basically using y'all motherfuckers as a buffer. And y'all niggas is stupid. I'm going to just say it right the fucking yell. Y'all motherfuckers is stupid. You look at somebody just because they got a lot of followers, because they got this, that, and the third. Trust me, energy is everything. I can feel when motherfuckers is fucking dwindling. You feel me? Trust me. I can feel when motherfuckers is dwindling and they desperate. So they want to do this type of shit. Well, I'm gonna use y'all. I'm gonna use my followers as a buffer so I can hex this bitch because I've been, you know, I've been getting my get back and da da da. da you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna use these people, uh, these these dumbass fans that want to be down with me. So I'm gonna use these dummies as a fucking buffer for my spiritual work to go through. And if it backfires, they gonna pay for it too. And guess what? If it does backfire, I got some candles I can sell them to help them to alleviate all that. This is a fucking marketing scheme. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck about the collective. Same thing. I go with the readers too. They don't give a fuck about the collective. Okay. That's just why I gotta say. And then another thing I wanna say, most black women spiritualists and most black women readers, 90% of them bitches is karmic. 90 fucking percent. That's just me being nice. I could say 99.999. But I'm one of the numbers, right? So I wanna just leave a little, you feel me? I could say 98%, but I'm, I'm being nice. 90% of black women spiritualists and, and fucking readers are karmic, okay? They karmic, they're male identified, they're evil, treacherous ass mammies. Who decided to use spirituality and, and make 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 a profit out of it don't fall for the glitz and the glamour be smarter that's what i'm trying to tell y'all now i've done group rituals before i'm trying to hurry up and go to the botanica right now i'm on, I'm on my way i'm in, I'm in compton right now I'm about to go see my girl uh botanica mary's uh, i think she's about to close about 40 minutes well 50 minutes about to close at five it's about 4 10 right now so i'm on my way there but yeah i have been a part of group rituals right in the past excuse me it actually worked out for me so but this was like a group um i think it's like a group manifestation ritual or something like that i'm not trying to down all group rituals i'm not trying to knock nobody hustle because there are some decent um you know decent and reputable spiritualists out there with public platforms or not that participate in group rituals and stuff like that and there are people that have great results from group rituals right 
but that's because you already have a high spiritual ranking you already had it in you to do it do the ritual by yourself and make it happen anyway but through the strength of numbers through the ritual that you do and the people and, and when, you, when multiple people uh place their intent onto one thing it brings it about that's hence why people do it right i'm just saying be more discriminatory just be more discriminatory about who is participating in it like if I was to do a group ritual, I'm only picking motherfuckers I know that got good fucking energy. I'm not picking no, and even if I'm cool with them, if I notice some little ways about them, like, oh, they always negative, they, you know, da da da, -da they going through this that, and the third, uh, they might not be a good candidate for the shit or whatever. These motherfuckers be turning on slow, they don't even go all the way to the curb, they gonna turn from the motherfucking lane. They so fucking weird, but anyhow. If I feel like they going through some shit, I'm like, yeah, I might not wanna invite her to this group ritual or invite him to this group ritual, you know. Um, I'm gonna pick somebody that I know can manifest real good, just like I can manifest good, that has a good attitude, that's a good sport. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get somebody that had that gets results, that has that has that's kind of similar to me. They don't have to be exactly like me or anything like that. But I'm talking about they have to be emotionally mature. You know what I'm saying? They have to be emotionally mature. They have to be able to to um, have good character, treat people well, have a good track record for manifestation. Okay, that they show that they are a healed healer. Or a healing healer, you understand? That's the only way I would I would do a group ritual. I, I, you you can't do group rituals with everybody. Just like you can't do business with everybody. Just like you can't fuck with everybody. Your energy can't mesh with everybody. That just is what it is. Confirmation. You can't be you can't be too mixy when it comes to spiritual shit. You can't because you are going to get fucked up. Me, I personally don't do hexing rituals. I don't judge nobody. Do what the fuck you gotta do. If motherfuckers is fucking with you, and you got proof. You got confirmation. You know. Um, you got confirmation after confirmation about it. Do your motherfucking thing, bitch. I ain't gonna stop you. But make sure that you're doing the shit. Make sure that it's it's a hundred percent justified, and make sure that you that you um that you know what you're doing, and that you, and that you're not like doing it over some weird petty shit that you're gonna end up paying for later. Okay, group rituals and all that stuff. That's not very smart to do. It's just not like, <laughs> especially hexing ritual, because you got bitches. You got these dumbass bitches. These karmic feminine bitches be creating b beef in their fucking mind and shit. I know the mind of a karmic feminine bitch because I dealt with too many of them. I come from a whole family full of them. Let me just be fucking honest here, okay? I know how their fucking thought process is, and I know how they get down. These bitches create beef in their mind of other women that they're jealous of or other men that they're jealous of, and they create this this imaginary make-believe beef in their mind, and they make you the enemy in their story. They make you the villain in their story. Therefore, they make you, oh, I'm gonna hex you, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna block you, I'm gonna do this and that, and you don't even do nothing to these people. You don't even fuck with these people, you don't even do nothing to these people. You got motherfuckers like that joining the motherfucking uh, group hex, hex ritual. You got karmics that got, that's been hit with karma after karma, and they so fucking bitter about it in 2024, about the karma that they get. They're so fucking bitter about it that they're doing group hex rit rituals to try to stab it off. If you join that shit, nigga, if you join that shit, nigga, after your fucking business, you finna get fucked up. Especially if the target of the hex is a, is a true, um, like a, you know, they, I don't like to say it, but a chosen one or <clears throat> an anointed one. You know what I'm talking about? A person that has high spiritual rank, a divine person, a divine feminine, a divine masculine. If you if you're putting them on the docket for your hex, for your group hex ritual, oh nigga, you gonna get fucked up. You're gonna get chicken wing in the spirit. You understand what I'm saying? You'll get spiritually jumped. Please know that. Okay? I just think what this lady's doing, hey, I'm not knocking the hustle, but I'm not gonna hustle. I just feel like I know the intentions behind it because I'm an intuitive person. I know the intentions behind it. Because like I said, 2024, a lot of people are dealing with a lot of karma, a lot of a lot of karma that they have gotten away with. There, any, any work that you've been putting in, whether it's negative or positive, you're going to get that back. So I feel like the people that have been getting away with shit all these years, they're getting their get back and they're so bitter about it and they created all these enemies in their minds that they think did something to them when it's really just them getting their karma. So they want to hex people that they have previously targeted and this, these people are getting spiritual justice you know what I'm saying? By them getting their karma. So they, they're getting so, bit, so bitter about it that they want to do spell work on them. But they know they can't do it just with them. If they do it, the spell work ain't going to work. So if she was to do it by herself, it ain't going to work. But she said, oh, let me, let me, let me get, let me do this group ritual. Let me do this group ritual so I can use other people's energy. So the people that she's using could be chosen ones, could be karmics, could be a mixture of those different kind of people. Let me use their energy to help push this ritual. And if the ritual backfires, 
because uh, she knows that the ritual will work if it's a lot of people in it, right? And so if the ritual backfires, then they will catch the residuals of what I'm getting. Motherfuckers is trying to, like, people are trying to, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get off the, get off the line, but, um, nah, fuck that. No, nah, that's good. I'm, I'm already, I think I'm already offline already. I'm already offline. Anyways, people, uh, that's the confirmation, and that was 333. 333. Three, three. three means group. That's a confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. The phone number that just called me right now had a 333 three, three on there. So 333 three, three is talking about group. So now you'll think about what? The Three of Pentacles, right? People working together, group rituals. Three of Cups. You can think about Three of Cups, uh, people, uh, social groups, social media. So when you think about three, the number three is, is, is social groups, networking. So interesting that that comes up, right? So just be mindful of that. When you see things like that, don't get involved. Especially if you know that you have a, a, a high spiritual rank, you know your power. You don't need you don't need to participate in that. These people are using you as a spiritual buffer. Not only are they making money off of you, but they're distributing the negative karma that they racked up that they have to pay for. You know, that negative karmic debt that they gotta pay for. They're basically distributing it to you guys like fucking Amazon Prime up in this bitch. And see that kind of stuff is appealing to karmic femmes. Okay? That kind of shit is appealing to them. But to a true divine feminine and a true as me, a female divine masculine. That shit, that shit don't impress me, okay? Shania Twain, that don't impress me much. It don't. It don't, bitch, okay? So I just wanted to say that, honey. Mm. I'm right in front of the uh, Botanica right now. They done made a little smoke shop over here next door. I might go over there and make a friend, you know? They better have an ATM up in there. I'm walking out, okay? <sighs> I'm just gonna get me um some little money candles, business candles, you know, like um, uh, Mejorar, mejorar um, Negocio. Uh, Y'all my clientele, you feel me? Uh, you know, Makino del Dinero, you feel me? You gonna give me one of them little things, you know? Get yeah, some money incense, business incense, call client, you feel me? I'm looking for call money and call client. That's the one. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that uh, it was all my spirit to say. Um, me, personally, I don't do that stuff. I do return energy back, though. I do, re I do return to senders. Uh, I do banishings and unblockings and uncrossings. You know what I'm saying? I I return the energy back, and that's just as bad as any hex. But those who choose to do those things, you need to be very very mindful. This is 2024. Karma's coming back a lot. Karma's coming back with a with a vengeance. Karma is spinning the motherfucking block a second time when it, when you thought you forgot. When you thought they forgot, they didn't forget a motherfucking thing. Karma is spinning that motherfucking block in 2024. So you want to be careful who the fuck you're aligning your energy with. You can't go to the same place that you used to go to. You can't fuck with the same people that you used to fuck with, especially if they refuse to evolve as a person. They're going to throw you into their rapture. They're going to get you caught up in their rapture and then turn around and blame you or, or rewrite history and act like you were never there, like you would never help them. So don't don't fucking uh, get yourself involved with these types of uh, people, whether it's online, uh, social medias, whether it's offline, whether it's your family, who you're dating, this and that, because you're going to get caught up in their shit, okay? The only reason why, if anybody's trying to hit you up or watch your fucking stories and do all this other shit, is because somebody fucking sent them to watch your shit. Somebody sent them to watch you and all that shit. You think I can't feel that? I can feel that. I just don't give a fuck because you ain't going to get what the fuck you, you're looking for. You ain't going to have much to report the fuck back. Oh, what you want to report back? Oh, she still don't give a fuck. She, she mind her own business. Yeah, bitch, I'm minding my own business, minding my bag, minding my spirit, minding my coins. Do you understand what I'm saying? So just stay away from those kind of people because these are people that just... They refuse, they refuse to evolve and they and they want to stay connected in some kind of way. So if they hitting you up, it's because they want you to get they want you they want to distribute the negative karma that they are that they're experiencing right now. They want you to help pay off their karmic debt. They need you to co-sign on that motherfucker. You feel me? They want you to co-sign on it. So if you know that you have a you know that you're divine being. You know how expensive and priceless your energy and your attention is. Don't participate in, in those type of things. If you're going to do uh, group rituals or group meditations and stuff like that, just be mindful of the group. You know what I'm saying? If your spirit take to the group, your spirit take to the, to the person that's conducting it, the leader of that group, you know, who's conducting the meditation or the ritual. If you if you like them, if they cool, whatever, like you want to know if, you're, if it's the right person, if they're not karmic. Because these are karmic spiritualists that are doing these types of... Uh, group hex rituals and doing these types of things because they need your help. They claim they're so powerful, but they need your help to push it along. And they want to use you as a buffer so when the shit backfire, when, when they want to use you as a buffer so when the shit backfire, then you're going to catch some of that shit too. You're going to catch the residuals of what they're about to catch. 
Cause it's like, bitch, why can't you just do your own little shit on the side? You just gotta find a way to make money with doing everything, I guess. But all money ain't good money, baby girl, la la la. Okay, it ain't all good money, okay? I know for sure, for me, I be, I'm very strategic with where I'm, or with where I'm distributing my energetic signature. And as a divine being, you have to be that way too. People will try to, you know, tempt you and tantalize you with these types of things, but that's not the way that you want to go. I'm just going to tell you that right now, okay? That's not the way that you fucking want to go. And and so <clears throat> that's what I'm going to leave y'all with. I'm going to get, get in the story in about 10 minutes, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. I know it's been a while since I did <laughs> a live stream. Um, I will start doing more live streams on here. Um, but, you know, bitches be busy, okay? Bitches be busy. I Bitches be busy, okay? <laughs> But yeah, that's my song right here. Just be mindful, y'all, because I got some bad energy off that live stream. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. I can pick up on the energy of the people that's in that live stream. No bueno. No bueno. I wouldn't want to do no ritual with them kind of motherfuckers. That's not going to be good. It ain't going to be good. I can already see a lot of people, a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt through that through that shit right there. There's some people might get what they deserve, but other people are going to, uh, other uh, innocent people that, know, that don't deserve it, they're going to get hurt. And then uh, on the flip side of that, the people that don't deserve it, that have a high spiritual ranking that's going to throw that shit back, it's not going to be good for everybody to involved. Watch this. Watch uh, weeks later after this ritual. Watch them people come under her comments talk about this is happening to me. That is happening to me. I'm losing everything. What's going on after we did the ritual? This is happening. Oh my God! Watch that shit. Watch that shit happen with some of them people. Huh? Watch that shit happen. Then she'll be like, Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Here's a candle for a hundred dollars to cleanse you. Stop letting these fucking people use you, man. Stop letting them fucking use you. Okay? You can do your own spiritual work. Okay? Maybe you need you need a reading, you need a consultation, you need a spiritual consultation before you do any type of spiritual work. Durr. You need a spiritual consultation first to see if that's what you want to do. Because if you actually do talk to a person, why do you want to hex them? Oh, because I feel like they doing this, this, and this, and that. And when you talk to them and you ask questions, when you ask pertinent questions, you'll see them start to unravel. And then you end up finding out that they they going after somebody that don't even deserve it. That they created this beef in their mind for somebody that didn't do something. They didn't do nothing to them, right? It's gonna come out that. That person didn't even do nothing to them, so you didn't have no reason to them uh, to to uh, hex them or blah 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 blah, right? That's what's going to end up coming out to be. So that's it's important to do a spiritual consultation instead of just saying instead of a customer coming to you like, yeah, I want you to do this hexing work on this person, or I want you to do this separation work on this couple. Okay, baby, uh, baby, la 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 la. We need to do a spiritual consultation so that we can find out what the source of it is, and then even a spiritual reading afterwards to see what the real tea is. Then you're going to end up finding out that it's not what the person really said, that the person is lying or the person is gravely mistaken. And then you can say, okay, well, instead of doing this hexing work, let's just go ahead and uncross you. This person was not responsible for this. So let's go ahead and uh, work on uncrossing you and you work on elevating yourself. Stop worrying about the next motherfucker, please. Please. Stop worrying about the next nigga, please. That's all I ask, okay? That's all I ask, okay? So moral of the motherfucker story is don't be so mixy when it comes to group rituals. Be mindful where you distribute your energetic signature, okay? Do not participate in things that will backfire on you because people are experiencing the people are experiencing karma on a mass level and they're so bitter about it that they want to take as many people down with them as possible. So this is one of the ways that they're going to do it to target people that they feel are doing something to them when in actuality most of the time the pe the people that they're targeting didn't do anything to them and you don't know the backstory you don't know what they did to these people you don't know what the situation is between that person that person that be wanting to hex that person that person might be a very fucking problematic ass motherfucker and that other person didn't want to deal with them no more so they created this this scenario in their mind that they did something to them and they're just adamant about destroying that person that's the energy i felt on that live stream so a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt and i'm gonna just sit back and watch my motherfucking popcorn lap That's what I'm gonna do, cause I'm smart. I'm not gonna mix my energy up with that shit. I was surprised I still have her on my page. I'm surprised I still have her on my page, but I don't be watching a bitch like that anyway. But her shit just happened to pop up on my stuff and I'm just like, yo, look at all these um young and impressionable 
uh, children that are on here. These are young and impressionable children. Uh, baby witches and all this stuff, all this, you know, they don't really, they don't know their ass from their elbow. So you can't really tell them anything. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful with that shit. That's all I was saying or whatever. It was on my spirit to speak about this because it's, it's very spiritually irresponsible to do shit like this. But we're going to see how it ends up. I feel like people are going to come under this woman's comment section and say how them participating in this shit fuck them up. Okay? If you are a divine being, stay away from shit like that. Let karma spin the block and do what karma do. You know what I'm saying? Focus on your own spiritual development and stop worrying about the next person. Most of the time, these bitches be doing this shit over dick. Especially if it's a nigga bitch. Sorry, like I said. If it's a nigga bitch, she go, if she trying to hex another woman, it's always over some dick. It's always over some dick. Like I said, 90% of black women spiritualists and divinators are fucking karmic. Distorted. Fucked up. Okay? They don't live the life that they claim they fucking live on the social media, off of social media. They don't live. They don't. Here's a way you could tell if a person is a decent person. Pay attention to their energy, how they carry themselves, how how they treat others. That's a big, big, big reason right there. Pay attention to how they treat other people. If you see how they treat other people, if you see if they put in people out there, they're doxing people, hexing people, you know, you see how, how they deal with conflict, um, and you see like, like little little flaws and shit like that in their character, that's not a person that you want to do any type of business with or buy readings or any services or products from. So this is the time to really like step back and observe and, and watch people fall. Do not try to get involved in people's karma this year. Don't even try to fucking do it. Don't even do it. Just sit back and watch it because they have to pay. Everybody got to pay the piper, myself included. So don't, if you're doing the work, whatever, whatever that you've been doing prior to 2024, if you're a divine being and you've been doing your thing, you've tried to make it work. You tried to be rational with, with irrational people. You tried to make it work with people and you had to let them go. That's exactly what spirit wanted you to do. Spirit wanted you to let them go so that you can unlock all your motherfucking blessings. These people know that shit. These people, it's paying for it. I can feel it. Okay? Telepathically in my dreams, I can feel it. People be reaching out to me. Telepathically, people be reaching out to me in the dream world, in the astral world, because they're feeling it. And I ain't got nothing to fucking do with it. I don't have anything to do with it. That's like them trying to hex me because they feel I got something to do with it. No, bitch, you getting your karma. No, nigga, you getting your karma. It have nothing to do with me. It's, it's because of the fucked up shit that you do and all the things that you've done that you've gotten away with all these years. You have to answer to it this year. Okay? You got to answer to it this year. You can't charm your way out of it. You can't lie your way out of it. You can't hex your way out of it. You can't do group rituals to get to, like, you know, because all you're doing is just distributing negative karma. You're getting involved with shit like that, you're going to distribute negative karma in your life. Unnecessarily. The point is to relieve karma, and they and they go they gonna try to use you as a buffer. So when shit backfire, now you got all this accumulative, they got all of it racking up on you. Like that's some bullshit. It's like somebody picking their nose and going like that. That's what these spiritualists and these readers are doing to you. Picking and they getting the juiciest fucking booger. Oh, here you go. That's what they fucking doing, bitch. So don't let them rub uh, rub uh their boogers on you and shit. Okay, I'm just telling y'all. <coughs> all right. So it's 4.30. I'm going to go ahead and go in the store. I'm not going to even take that long in the store. I'm going to go ahead and go because I know i sure about to um, close real soon or whatever. So, um, oh, yeah, I got some good news before I get out of here. So, yeah, y'all, uh, I picked up two new gigs, one for a psychic, a psychic chat line. So I'm a, uh, one for a psychic chat line. Oh, Lord. One for a psychic chat line. The other one is for a psychic hotline. So, um, yeah. So, um it's been so far so good you know what I'm saying so far so good so you may see me there um I did tarot bashment on my YouTube channel so make sure you check out my YouTube channel at Urban Alchemistic um I do those on Fridays Friday nights I did come out a little late last night whatever but um yeah I'll try to do more live streams on here because I haven't done any live streams on here in a while so I'll come on here and do do some readings or do uh honest obs which is just like me speaking uh, me, you know, channeling information, me sharing my downloads with y'all, and also just sharing my opinion, my honest ops, my honest observations, you feel me? So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch up with y'all in the next video. Alright, gotta so you, gotta so me. Bye! That's why I never thought I would leave. Looked all over creation
wanted me to see And what I've seen so far is heaven sent Every drop gets in my way, I'm all alone 